MLB The Show has baseball coming your way from Tropicana Field here in St. Petersburg. Today, game three of this four-game series between the Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays. Two of the best bats in the business go at it next on the show. Matt Andrees gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, looking at his numbers, he's got three times the strikeouts to walks. And what that tells me, that's very good. He's going to dominate hitters. His stuff is electric. And if he continues to keep guys off balance and not walk hitters, he'll continue to have a successful season. We'll see if he's able to execute Leading that game plan in this game. Into Second the box baseline. steps, the leadoff man, Number Dustin 15. Pedroia, and we are ready for baseball. Underway at the ballpark this afternoon as the first pitch is in there for strike one. And Harold, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, they've been in a nice little groove of winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Matt, they won the game last night, and I talked to the manager earlier, and he just said, you know, we executed, and if we can do that, we'll be a consistent team, and we'll win games. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Soft liner to the right side. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Danny, any thoughts? Well, you know this club is definitely hoping for more out of Hanley Ramirez in the near future. I mean, this is a guy that drove in over 110 runs a year ago, so he's expected to produce big time. Sometimes expectations can be crippling, though, so hopefully he can block those out and right the ship in this one. Here's Xander Bogarts now, and this is a good-looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right-handers this season. Into the windup and the pitch. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. One of those few occasions we're happy to be inside this place. 98 and humid outside, but a steady 72 degrees here inside. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Rasmus racing back. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Batting third. Here's right, Mookie Betts. A couple Mookie of hits for him in Betts. four trips to the plate last night. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Matt, the interesting thing about Lawrence, now I think the way he sets up is almost telling you what he's going to call. He'll call one side of the plate more than he will the other. Look at his setup. Maybe that'll help you out. And he comes back with one in there for a high strike. Here's the one and one delivery. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. That's a nice piece of hitting. Read what the pitcher is doing to you in the at bat. A pitch away, a pitch away, and then the third one away, and he takes that direction for the hit. Nice job. Here's the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Now the 0-1. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. A runner on first with two away. 
Throw over to first and the runner back in standing. One and two here it comes. Swing and a miss blew the fastball right by him and the inning is over. Red Sox leave one. Boston nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Drew Pomerantz will do the pitching in game three of the series. What's your take on him H. Well Matt I'm, I was impressed with him last game he earned the W and I mean that because he pitched through it pitched into the seventh inning and got the win for the team. Some guys don't work quite as hard as he did but he earned that W. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. they lead things off here in the bottom half and of the first. Leading up for the Ray, center fielder Kevin Kiermeyer. And he Ball takes ball one. one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon, HR. They enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Yeah, Matt, I mean, everything's working for them. They've increased their lead in their division. They're blowing everybody away. The challenge, I think, moving forward is just to stay focused and motivated as they know they're going to be a playoff team. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, this is the recipe they want. Their pitcher comes out, throws a scoreless top of the first, and then you get a leadoff single to start the bottom of the inning. Good start. Miller. Stepping in now, Brad Miller, as he'll take a look at ball one. We'll check in with an average still south of 230, a dozen home runs, and 30 RBIs. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Matt this is where that guy on first base is distracting the pitcher I guarantee you he's down 2 and 0 he's not focused on the hitter this is where you get hurt I love it when a guy on first can run two and 0 count and the pitch now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Well, that was a pretty good pitch right there. A little bit late. That's why he wasn't able to catch it right there in his wheelhouse. To two and two now. Set to deal on two and two. Grounded to third. This could be two. There's one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Batting third. Left fielder. Corey. Striding in. Dickerson. Corey Dickerson. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Runners on first with one down. Fastball that he's way out in front of a swing and a miss. Well he's been really cold right now and again he finds himself 0 and 2 when you're struggling you don't get in hitters counts and the other thing that happens they come right after you they're not wasting any time coming after him. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. What good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. Here's the one and two delivery. 
to two balls and two strikes now. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. And here's a ball hit in the air. Bradley moving in, but he won't get there. It falls in. Man, that's a nice at bat. Found himself down 0-2, and, and he just continues to fight. Batting Bought ball. off pitches, gets Third a 2-2 two -two count, and gets Evan a base hit. Longoria. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. He's always a long ball threat, currently fourth in the American League in that department. First pitch on its way. And a double steal try here. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. And he'll take it to the bag for the out. And there's your unassisted double play. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Currently with the third the best run. home run total Center on fielding. the ball club. Jackie Bradley Jr. First delivery to him on the way. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Fastball that time is nowhere close and it's even at one and one. One and one. Here it comes. Rip down the line. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Again, he sends it out of play. Here he comes again, one, two. It's a swinging bunt up the line, but it gets foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. He'll try again, one, two. And he struck him out. Well, let's take a look at the Rays defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm not going to be real positive here because they've got the worst building percentage in all of baseball. This team just doesn't catch the ball very well. There could be a lot of mistakes. It might get ugly today. Watch yourself. Here's the Panda now, Pablo Sandoval. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. Here's the first pitch to him. And that misses inside 1 and 0. No score here as we play inning number 2. And good patience here from Sandoval. It's 2 and 0 now. The pitch. He pulls this one into right. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So he took advantage of the young guy right there. He continued to throw fastballs. First one, second one, then they got the base hit on the third one. Don't be afraid to mix in a curveball. Striding into the box, Jose Ramirez. And he's a guy that's not afraid to run if he gets aboard. Comes in ranked second on the team in stolen bases. From the stretch. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. 
Steve and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. I like that. Show him the curveball and then try to sneak that low 90s fastball by him. It's going to look faster coming off those breaking pitches. And this is going to be a foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. In the dirt here. And he is safe at second base as the decision to move up pays off, and that'll likely be scored a wild pitch. Well, when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt, that's the danger. You have to trust your catcher, but this one skips away, and the open base takes the double opportunity away with it. Might prove to be costly. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Well, that's a line drive the single, but the runner's 17. not going to score. Now, remember, with Tucker less than two outs, Barnhart. he had the freeze. Hit it a little bit too hard at the wrong guy. He'll take the hit, but no RBI. Really? In now, Tucker Barnhart. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0 and 2. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Little tapper down the first baseline, but that one rolls foul. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a looper to left. Here comes Dickerson, and that ends the inning. Boston strands a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So digging in now, Colby Rasmus in prior matchups right against Drew Pomerantz, one for four. Rasmus. Here comes the first pitch. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. One and one coming to Rasmus. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Ready on one and two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. You could tell he was thinking fastball all the way here, and that's exactly what he got. He was able to get the bat head out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double. Standing in, Logan Morrison, hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one.
over towards the coaching box. Ready with the 0-1. And a neck-high fastball that time. Here it comes on one and one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, 2 and 2 now. No one out with a runner at second. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. He's set. Here's the three and two. And this is fouled back and out of play. The payoff pitch one more time. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. At the plate, Tim Beckham. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Low of the fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. This is one of those classic bunt situations here. But it's not a given anymore like it used to be. And that's the case even more so in the American League. A 1 0 delivery. In the dirt. And now let's see. Throw to third. And he is safe at third as he moves up on what's likely to be ruled a wild pitch. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it, too. He went with an off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come up with it, and two runners advance. Now they're both in the scoring position. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. He's set. Here's the 3-0. A high fastball is in there. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Three and two. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. Couple of men in scoring position here with none down. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. All right, time for an adjusted defensive alignment for the Red Sox. I'm looking down there at Xander Bogarts and watching him work early tells me why he's become such a good defender in the big leagues. He's out here at 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon going through his routine, making sure he catches the ball and makes all the plays. So striding in, Michael McHenry. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. Oh, and one count and the pitch. 
This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit, and the run will score as the Rays cash in on an early 1-0 lead. Man, he turned on that fastball right there. Ripped the line drive and scored the run easy. Ricky Weeks. Into the box, Ricky Weeks. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 261, the average coming into action here. Six home runs and 22 RBIs. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You could pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. He's set. Here's the two-two. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Kevin Kiermeyer is on deck. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of a nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. He could get the early hook if he can't be a little bit more precise here. That's walk number two of the inning, and we're only in the second. Ready for another chance? Kevin Kiermeyer, a base hit in his first trip. And he lays off there 1 0. Now I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. The 1 0 delivery. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Well, I like that, taking that strike right there. Look, he's already walked a couple guys early. He's not throwing the ball consistently in the zone. You have to be patient and make him work. One and one, here it is. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. And another foul ball. I like the call for the two strike changeup. You got to make a better pitch. He got away with one right there. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Wow, talk about frustrating. Not what you want to do with the bases loaded. A simple pop up and nothing productive comes out of that. Into the box now, Brad Miller, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Pomerant sets. Coming at him with the 0-1. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Two out, bases loaded. Great 
breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. Love that pitch right there and he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the inside corner. A lot of hitters have a tendency to open up way too early and they can't make good contact on that pitch. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And the third baseman will have a look at it but this is back into the seats. Ready on one and two. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Shin high fastball that time. Ball three. This is a really good at bat. This is the kind that you go back to the dugout, regardless of the outcome, they go, great A B, man. Great A B. Big pitch early, the three-two. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The next three two and this will be fouled away. As a look now the pitch another one sent foul. Another payoff pitch. And the 11th pitch is the charm as he strikes him out to end the inning. Rays will settle for just the one. We played two full. The Rays are in front, one to nothing. Welcome back to Major League Baseball on the show from St. Petersburg, Florida. Nice look there of nearby Clearwater. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian with you as Dustin Pedroia settles in to Dustin get the inning Pedroia. underway. Into the windup and the pitch. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball, ball one. Well, that two-seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off-speed pitch. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1-2 and two hole. The 1-2 and two pitch. And this will be fouled away. Again, a one two. Swing and a liner. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Digging in for his second at bat, Xander Bogarts. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the first pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Late that time for a strike. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Hitters count now, here's the two and one. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. 
And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. Here's the pitch on two and two. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now another two two. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat, trying to protect right before field. the ball even left Rookie the pitcher's hand. Bat. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Stepping in now, Mookie Betts. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One for one after a single this first time up. to go around here but it doesn't matter this is strike two anyway two out nobody on wave dad and missed for the third out not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over Red Sox go down one two three they trail this one one to nothing Digging in to try it again. Corey Dickerson. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Corey Dickerson. Here's the first pitch to him. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Here's the pitch. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. He's such a good hitter. You don't see him miss pitches that are right there in a good hitter's location very often. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. Not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. Hit hard back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So a leadoff single will be the start to their half of the third. Already two hits in the ball game as he's on base here in the home third. And as we check the Rays leaderboard, he currently finds himself second in that category. Digging in, Evan Longoria. 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the stretch, here's the pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Hey, we're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Here's the one and one delivery. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. From the belt, the pitch. He's running towards second. Skied into straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. Makes the play one away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now, now with the play, Colby Rasmus. Right he'll try to follow Colby up the double Rasmus. in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First delivery to him on the way. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. -oh. 
a change up over the inside corner. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And he got him. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. In now, Logan Morrison. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Set and the 1 0 pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Pomerant sets, 2 1 on its way. Hard on the ground towards short. Scooped up on the backhand. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Three innings complete. It's the Rays one and the Red Sox nothing. Here's the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Hanley Ramirez. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. That's an interesting pitch right there. Uh, let's see if that throws him off a little bit. He's been on a pretty good roll. He can't let it upset him. Just get back in the groove right here. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Heading out towards shallow right. Rasmus has a read on it. He's got it one away. Center fielder, Jackie Bradley. Here's Jackie Bradley Jr. now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. That's off the second base bag. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Well, there's a one out infield single. And you know what? You can start a lot of rallies with one out. He was hustling down the line. If you're pitching, you think, golly, that was so unlucky. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And standing in now, the versatile Pablo Sandoval. First pitch coming, here it is. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Here comes the 1 0. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Ready with the 2 0 pitch. Bradley runs. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Under it is Rasmus now for route number two.
riding in once again. Jose Ramirez. He singled his last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Matt, I don't know if you know this, but less than 60% of his first pitches have been for a strike. And he's still having a good game. I, I don't know what he's doing. They just haven't been able to figure him out. 0 oh and 1, still. here it comes. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. Throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Nothing doing for Boston. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Now at the plate, Tim Beckham comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. The one and two pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. And that changeup didn't tempt anybody and misses for ball three. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Popped high in the air. Ramirez is there for it. One down. The batter, catcher, Michael McHenry. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael McHenry. Looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A fastball down near the shoe tops. One out, nobody on. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The batter, number eight, designated hitter. Ricky. Into the box now. Ricky Weeks. He drew a walk his first time up. Pomerantz is ready. First pitch on its way. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And that'll get down for a two-out single. So a nice job there to fight off an 0-2 pitch and keep the inning alive for at least one more batter. Woo, that's one of those you chuck and duck. He now just batting. smoked that ball Trying right back up the middle. Kevin Kiermeyer. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's one for two in this one. One and one. Look out, one and one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And he lays off for a ball. 2 and 1. One run, six hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Ball 
fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Set to deal on two and two. In the dirt here. Here comes the payoff pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Ramirez in foul ground. And that ends the inning. One left for Tampa, but they're on top one to nothing. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. Leading off for He's in to get things going Third here in baseman. inning number five. Jose Ramirez. First delivery to him on the way. Yeah. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Well, he got a high strike on a fastball right there. That's pretty unusual. Usually early in the count, you're going to see a guy work down in the zone. That high fastball usually the put away pitch with two strikes. He pitched him backwards right here. Grounded back up the middle. Oh, a reaching try as he knocks it down. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Uh oh, what a play. Now, you got to rule out a base 17. hit. But man, the shortstop Tucker made a great effort Barnhart. on that just to knock the ball down. But that's going to be ruled a hit, no doubt about it. Stepping up to the plate, Tucker Barnhart. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a throw over to first, runner back safely. Here comes the first pitch. Looks at a curveball on the outside corner. No runs, five hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Trying to send him packing for the second time. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. And a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make the play for the first out. Now about it. The left handed Andrew hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch on its way. The cutter runs outside, ball one. That's a tough pitch to recognize. A backdoor cutter, you just don't see that very often. One and no pitch on the way. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Tough situation for him right here. I mean, he's got an open base, so he doesn't have to give in to this guy, but there's definitely danger looming on deck, so you can't just completely work around him either. Ready with the 2 0 pitch. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Waiting next is Dustin Pedroia. Set to deliver on 3-0. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Set. Here's the 3-1. And oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Matt, I thought he might be in jeopardy of walking the guy here for the first time in this game. Went down 3-0, but he's come all the way back 3-2 now, and I think he'll just make the guy put it in play or put one on the corner. He's going that good. He's set. Here's the three and two. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Runner at second here with one man out. Skied into very shallow right. Rasmus will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Here's the second baseman now, now Dustin Pedroia. 0 for 2 baseman, on his line thus far. Pedroia.
trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And that misses ball one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. Here's the one one. Slider up that he gets a call on. Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning, and he's got one pitch, I think, away from getting through five shutout innings. It's pretty impressive right now. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and a liner, but foul. Two out here and a runner at second. In the dirt, and now let's see. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. On its way is pitch number 75. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. One left for the Red Sox. They still trail one nothing. Stephen Wright plate. is going to take over now here in inning number Red five. Sox. So it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Stephen Wright. Ready once again, Brad Miller. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this Second one. Baseman, Brad Miller. Starts him out with a good dancing knuckleball for a strike. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Ben Intendi comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the, the first left out. Fielder, number 10, Corey Dickerson. Digging in and looking for more, Corey Dickerson. His career numbers against Stephen Wright, one for five. He's taken him deep once. This is pulled into right, so he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Well, Matt, he's really been struggling recently, but this is the third hit of the game right here. Maybe we're seeing signs that he's really going to start to come out of it and maybe stay out of it. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch on its way. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. The 0 and 1 delivery. And that misses 1 and 1. Man, he wanted that pitch, and I can't blame him. When you're facing a good hitter like this, you want that strike. You need that strike. It's 0 and 2 instead of 1 1. Runners on first with one down. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And this is going to be a foul ball.
Now another one two. The knuckle balls his out pitch but it misses two and two. Two and two count here it comes. Just stand alive putting together a really good at bat here. Ready with another 2 2. And this one's in the dirt. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Standing in now, Colby Rasmus. As he'll watch a knuckleball that dances its way in there for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory and that ends the inning. Ray's strand just the one but they lead it one to nothing. Here's Xander Bogarts now. And at this point of the game, I Leading think it's clear Boston. that the plan of attack North against Boston. the top of the order has Xander worked. Oh, well, you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game. You know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. The windup and the 1 0 pitch takes a fastball on the inside corner. Here it comes on 1 and 1. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Nope, Tries to outside. get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game. Right now, though, you got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for them. No walk so far. Here's the three two. Now a swing and a fly ball. Rasmus on the run. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the inning. Right fielder. Here's Mookie Betts. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here it comes. Line towards center field. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. He's been looking really good. Another hit, another so multi-hit game. This hot streak has been Henley really Ramirez. fun to watch him perform. Now a move over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Here's Hanley Ramirez. In the dirt here. And not what they were hoping for as that moves the possible tying run into scoring position. 
while one pitch ago he had only given up a single but that wild pitch that single essentially turns into a double those kind of things can absolutely kill you. The one and oh delivery runners on his way to third pitches a cold and easy tag there from Longoria and he is out trying to steal third base. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And the pitch. That's on the outside corner. Count two and two. We're really watching a great performance. This is a good hitting team. He's got two outs already in the sixth inning. We're one out away from watching him get through the sixth with all zeros on the board. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Hit toward the right side. And that is in there for a two out base knock. More two out success, a couple of base hits as they try to mount a rally here. Didn't try to do too Center much fielder. with it. Two strikes Jackie on him, he just Bradley fights it off and flips Junior. it into right field. Into the box. Jackie Bradley Jr. as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1 a hit in two tries for him so far. From the stretch now a cutter but that's in the dirt for a ball hits are even at seven apiece. And a fastball just a bit high. The knee buckler and he swings and misses at it. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Red Sox leave one. It remains one nothing. Ready once again, Logan Morrison. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And now the Red Sox will get a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Into the windup and the pitch. Favorable call in there for a strike. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Softly hit here down the line, but it'll be a foul ball. Here he comes again, one, two. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's another one, two. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Well that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. It's a solo home run for Logan Morrison. Sixth home run on the season for him as the Rays move in front now, two to nothing. Boy, that's a late mistake that could prove to be fatal. It's only a solo shot, but with the way their starter is throwing it, that could be enough to seal the deal. The batter number one, shortstop. Into the box Beckham. now, Tim Beckham. Drilled down the line. 
And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Well, there's a base hit on a knuckleball at your knees. That is such a tough thing to do now because when the ball's down Denver. low, they move different ways. Michael, it looks like a Michael slider. Henry. Sometimes it'll dip like a split ball. It'll do all kinds of different movements on you, and you just don't know what angle or plane that ball's going to end up on. Stepping in now, Michael McHenry. As you'll watch a knuckleball that finds the zone for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. The 0 2 delivery. Curveball that time, not even close. Those 0 2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Come on, base hit now. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Ramirez is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Ricky Weeks. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Just off on the timing for that knuckleball. The 0 1 pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. A shot down the first baseline. And this will be a foul ball as the first baseman makes a Herculean effort to make the stop. Easy there, Cha Cha. Another 0 and 2 coming. Knuckleball and he can't pull the trigger. It's a called strike three for out number two. Now battle. Center fielder, Kevin. Digging in Kiermaier. to try it again. Kevin Kiermeyer. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here we go, Ray. Here we go. First pitch coming. Here it is. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. One for the Rays on the solo home run. The 6 7 8 hitters coming up to start the seventh, and it's 2 0 Tampa Bay. Back here at Tropicana Field in St. Pete. We're in the seventh with the Rays out in front, and let's get you caught up with our game summary for the first six innings. Here's the Panda now, Pablo Sandoval. One for two on his line so far in the Pablo game. Sandoval. Now a southpaw up to throw in that Tampa Bay bullpen. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Two and one. You know what, Matt? He's been getting most of the pitches. I know he's complaining a little bit on this one, but he's been getting most of the pitches today. He, he should be feeling pretty good about himself. And 
and he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Now here's the pitch. Ground ball right side. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting. Third baseman. Jose. Ready for Ramirez. another chance. Jose Ramirez. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Now a ball softly hit and fouled off to the left. Strike one. This is on the ground over to first. And that is through into right field for a single. They've left a lot of men on base. They've had plenty of opportunities. And here's another one. After a base hit, they find themselves with another runner on. Let's see if they can bring somebody home this inning. Now here comes the Tampa Bay manager out to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So as he departs he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard but he cannot lose this one. You're Brad Boxberger enters to now make an appearance the on the mound as he inherits Number a runner at first with one out in the Brad inning. Boxberger. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tucker Barnhart. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Here's a look over to first and he'll dive back in. He's set and the pitch. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. and one here it comes swing and a miss out in front of a changeup runner at first here one man out and he missed with it it's one and two you know that almost works like a pitch out there maybe you get the guy to chase out of the zone but at the very least it gives the catcher something good to throw if the man on first is on the move. Now a throw over. Runners back. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Bounce to first. The throw from his knees. Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. Back to first, and they won't get them both, but they wouldn't have had any had it not been for an excellent play at first base. Boy, that was a smooth play, wasn't it? Great job to lay out and make the stop, and then to feed the second from his knees for the out. Pretty impressive display there. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. And Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. And action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right-hander's begun to get loose. First pitch of the at-bat. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Two out with the man at first. Hopped up. Beckham is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Red Sox. They trail it here, two to nothing.
Your Fernando Abad gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Fernando Abad. Digging in once again, Brad and Miller. No hits race. in three tries so Second far. He struck out once. Brad Miller. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And now pitch on the way. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. And here's a ball hit in the air. Ramirez is there for it. He's got it one away. The left fielder, number 10, Corey Dickerson. Striding in once again, Corey Dickerson. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Right over the middle, knee high. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Bases are empty, one man out. And he chased it in the dirt. Barnhart gathers, and the throw to first is there to record the second out. So two away now for the slugger Evan Longoria. Evan Longoria. First delivery to him on the way. Ball one. Here comes the 1 0. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. The 1 and 2 pitch. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Another 1 2 delivery. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to 2 and 2 now. Seems like he's thrown everything at him the kitchen sink and he just fouled them off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. Takes this the other way to right. And Mookie will make the play and that retires the side. Rays go in order, one, two, three. But they're on top, two to nothing. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. No hits in second three tries baseman. so far. He struck Dustin out once. Pedroia. Now the pitch. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss that time by Pedroia as he finds himself in an 0 and 2 hole now. That's a good changeup. Got him to swing early in it. Now you got him set up. You can go back with the hard fastball or double it up with another changeup. Ready with the 0-2. Swung on in the dirt. Strike three. Up with it. McHenry. He'll throw down to first. One away. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Xavier Cedeno gets the now call as he'll pitch ring. with one gun Number in the top 21. of the eighth. Xavier Cedeno. Here's 
Here's Xander Bogarts now. Nope. A fastball here as they'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1 0 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Here's the one and one pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. One out, nobody on. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. And this is swung on and missed to our quickly retired to start inning number eight. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Here comes the first pitch. Mookie Betts is in with two away as he takes a ball one and oh. One and oh pitch on the way. And a fastball just a bit up. That's two close pitches right there and he just laid off him. I think he's sitting on one specific pitch and he hasn't gotten it yet. Two and zero count and the pitch. A high fastball is in there. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Bases are empty here with two men out. Out of play. All even at two and two. Here it is. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Another try at two two. And again he's unable to keep it fair but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Two out nobody on. And this is fouled at the plate. The 2 2 one more time. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. So with two out, that means Hanley Ramirez will also get an opportunity here. Well, that's his third hit of the night. And are you surprised? That's three singles. Now sits three for four with three singles. Not a bad night. Now a snap throw to first and he'll dive back in safely. And another snap throw to the bag and a dive but he's back in. Here's the left fielder Hanley Ramirez. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Well, maybe that fooled him, or maybe he wasn't looking for it. But man, he hung him a curveball right there in the middle. For him to not swing the bat, being the power hitter he is, who sees a lot of breaking pitches, makes me think he's looking for something else. Ready on 0 and 2. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. 0 oh, 2 once more. And a good two strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0 oh 2. Now a snap move over to first. 
And he'll get back in standing. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. And Ramirez is able to hold off on that one, but he still trails in the count. It's one and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And they can't run it down. That was the fourth foul ball in this at bat. He is really making him work. Again, a one two. And that misses two and two. This guy's a good hitter. He's seen a lot of pitches already, fouling balls off. But as the pitcher, I got to keep throwing him strikes. And if he hits it, hopefully it's at somebody. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And a neck high fastball that time. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked the count full to 3 and 2. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. How about he it? did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. Jackie and now he's Bradley got a runner in scoring Jr. position to deal with. Tommy Hunter enters the ball game out of the pen for the looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Tommy Hunter. Jackie Bradley Jr. will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that one stayed up a little high. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. Bradley waits on the 1 1 and he misses 2 and 1. Two down runners at first and second. Started to chase that time but then he wisely holds off for ball three. Good check swing on that off speed pitch clearly is sitting fastball ready to let it fly. He recognized it was an off speed pitch and was able to hold up. Set. Here's the 3 1. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. That's a big no no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Ready for another shot now. Pablo Sandoval. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Clearly, this is a tough situation to be on the mound, but the key here is minimizing. They're up by two, so if he could find a way to get out of this bases loaded jam by only giving up one run, that would be clutch. The 1 1 pitch. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the play to keep it at arm's length. Two. 
Big spot. Two out, possible tying and go ahead runs on base. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Dickerson going back on it. And what a play. A beautiful jumping catch to put an end to the inning. One more time. Full extension in left field as he hauls this one in. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Standing in. Colby Rasmus. And He'll get things started now eight. in the bottom of inning number eight. Right fielder. Colby Rasmus. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. A changeup that catches the corner for strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Now the 0 2 pitch. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here's the one and two delivery. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Now here it comes. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. The 2 2 one more time. Had him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Ben Intendi comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for round number one. Number seven, Logan At the plate, Morrison. Logan Morrison comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses for ball one. Let's go one more time, baby. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Nope. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2 0. 2 0 count and the pitch. Nope. 3 0. Tim Beckham is on deck. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. A called strike on the inside corner. Bases are empty, one man out. Called a strike and it's full of three and two. Crowd gets up for the three two. Swing and a miss and they come back from a three oh count to sit him down on strikes and there are two gone. Not too often you see in the back go from three and oh to a strikeout so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the three oh take but he still had to put it in the zone. In now Tim Beckham as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one he's working on a one for three thus far the one and no delivery takes a high fastball for a strike. He's really throwing the ball well in this game. And the thing to me that stands out is that two seamer. He's got great movement and he's keeping hitters off balance with it. The pitch. That nibbled the corner there but missed two and one. And the pitch on two and one. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Swung on and missed three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch. Swing and a liner foul and out of play.
He'll try it again, three and two. Swing and a liner, but a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. The catcher, number nine. Tyler Thornburg enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Now pitching for the Red Sox, number 47, Tyler Thornburg. Michael McHenry will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. And in for ball one. A runner on first with two away. And that's too high, ball two. That was two very good takes. I mean, those pitches are just right there, nibbled on the corners, just missed, but he had the patience to lay off them. The 2-0 on the way. Up and in. Big danger now. It's 3-0. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I like it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. Taking all the way, and it's 3-1 and one now. Two out with the man at first. And a cold strike on the outside corner there. It's full now. Three and two. All right. Three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving. So we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. He's set. Here's the three and two. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Strike three called and the inning is over. One left for Tampa as they're unable to add to their two nothing lead. Alex Colomay comes out of the bullpen to shut the things down here in the Number ninth. 37, Alex Stepping in, Jose Ramirez. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out, and over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. And he takes strike two. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0 and 2. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. And the pitch. And a good idea to hold off there as it goes to two and two now on the Boston third baseman. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Now the pitch. 
It swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And Rasmus is there to put this ball away for route number one. Now batting. Digging in the switch Tucker, hitter, Tucker Barnhart. Barnhart. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Into the windup and the pitch. Leaves a change up high for a strike. One out, nobody on. Little dribbler up the first baseline. That winds up foul for the second strike. Down the third baseline. Throw on to first, and now the Red Sox are down to their final out. Now batting. Left fielder, Andrew. Stepping Benintendi. into the box, Andrew Benintendi. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And a ball, 1-0. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is that they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. A 2 nothing finish today. Matt Andres notches his third win of the year. Drew Pomeranz was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Alex Colome hammers down the save, his 16th of the season. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.